Okay, I'm going to do a quick video here on neon light bulbs because uh, I found something at the junk store that I want to share. So this is a standard neon. I think it's an NE2. Uh, NE-2 is the correct part number for this uh, for this guy. And these are everywhere. They are ubiquitous. Uh, yeah, and uh, they're really cool. They have two. Let me put it down so it's focused. They have two electrodes in a capsule with uh, gas around it, neon plus, plus some other gases probably. And uh, they will glow if you put a bunch of voltage on it. They will generate a plasma around them. And um, if you put uh, DC on them, only one electrode lights up. And if you put AC on them, then both electrodes light up. And uh, they are a fairly high voltage device. Um, I think these, oh, I'm just kind of guessing, these are something around 80, 90 volts, something like that. And you put a, a 120 volts on them, you need a dropping resistor. So something like a 68K, somewhere between a 47K and a 68K is what I remember for these type of, uh, these type of light bulbs. Um, and uh, size-wise, uh, LEDs come in various sizes, and you'll hear them called like a five millimeter uh, LED. There's an actual LED term called T one and three quarters. This is this size is a, is 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 the old old school nice big one. Uh, this is T one and three quarters, and you can see that a uh, T one and three quarter is about the same diameter as a, as this neon here, and so you can kind of think as of the. Uh, of the uh, neons as, as like a T1 and three quarters. Now, LEDs come in smaller ones. The next ones that were kind of developed were what we'll called T1. This is the T1 LED. And uh, these maybe are three millimeters. Uh, I don't think that, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, these are small, all right? These are small compared to uh, uh, the uh, T1 and three quarters. So, you know, um, did neon light bulbs come in bigger sizes? You know, I've seen fairly big ones. Um, but did they come in smaller sizes, right? Did they did they come in smaller sizes? Well, I was at the junk store, and looky here, look at these little guys. <laughs> these are neon light bulbs, and um, they are basically a T1 size neon. Um, amazing! <laughs> I didn't know they existed. I've I've never ever seen them before, and uh, they had a lot of them at the junk store. And they wanted five cents each for them, so <laughs> I bought ten of them. Um, don't know what I want with them. And I'm trying to figure out what was the use case for these. Why would you want a super tiny, super tiny LED, maybe as a decimal point, point? Or then I was thinking, oh, maybe I can like stack these all up and make a, a dot matrix display out of out of uh, out of neons. That would be pretty weird. Anyway, uh, very very strange. Um, I did find a little, I didn't look very hard, but I did find a little bit of data online that says these guys are like 67 volt uh, devices, and it's recommended that you have a 100, 100K dropping resistor. So uh, two or three times the size of the dropping resistor of the other one. And so I've, I've hooked a couple up over here, and uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can't turn these on. And yeah, there they go, they glow. Uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll put in a picture here of a of a close up uh, so you can see these these uh, these both on. But uh, yeah, they're super cool. <laughs> uh, and I don't know, uh, chime in if you've seen these little guys and you've seen them in use. I mean, I guess as indicators, it's you know smaller light bulbs are better. Maybe even just for on off. Maybe you just don't have a lot of room. I don't know. I've just I've just never seen them before. Um, yeah, super cute. 